You are watching Access the Fort County Channel 97. Coming up next is the May 17th meeting of the Michigan City Park and Recreation Board. You can find more information for this meeting at www.accesstheportcounty.org. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Michigan City Park Board meeting for May 17th. If you could please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. Pledge of Allegiance to the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God, into the struggle with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Shannon, can you call the roll, please? Mr. Latchford? Here. Mr. Priest? Here. Mr. Bladen? Here. Mrs. Berlin? Here. Uh, the minutes from our May 3rd meeting were prepared in advance and presented. Uh, so, unless there are any changes or corrections, do you have a motion to approve? I would move to accept the minutes as printed. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right. Any project updates, old business or table business? I do have a quick project update. The um, plans for Water Tower Park, the renovation project, will be 90% 90, 90 complete this week. Um, I expect to get them tomorrow, so I will send those out to the board right away to give you guys some time to digest everything in that project. Um, and then that will be on your June 7th agenda for approval. Great, thank you. No old business, no table. All right, right into new business, 7A, Holiday Construction Group, change order number eight. Thank you, Mr. Latchford. You're welcome. In your packet, you received uh, the descriptions of change order number eight. That will be the last change order. That project is complete. The three items were adding concrete, which was shotcrete, at an extra area on the south side of the Lion Exhibit extension. Uh, this is an additional wing wall that was added because uh, Director Jamie Huss noticed that it was dangerous for people to stand on the viewing block and be able to reach over into the uh, exhibit. Uh, addition, on item number two, additional four inches of concrete to be removed with 53 sized recycled concrete provided, placed and compacted. Uh, that item was to extend the uh, and replace the asphalt sidewalk in front of the lion exhibit and to continue it further because of the deplorable conditions of the asphalt. Um, item number three, uh, to add for the lion's exhibit, a concrete curb that diverted water that was un unforeseen in the, in the uh, blueprints. It was not added into the blueprints. So this added curb diverts the water. And there was a sidewalk and ramp for ADA accessibility that was added as well. Thank you, Mr. Shin. Questions or comments? <clears throat> uh, you mentioned that this is the last PO. So this, these are the uh, last expenses related to this project? As far as I know, is that correct, Jamie? Were there any other items? Uh, yes, in-house. Everything else will be done in-house. So how did we come out in total? I assume this 1.8 million is the sum of everything we've paid to date? Yes. So how does that relate to what our budget was overall? Well, I think you put some numbers together at one of our previous meetings and found that the change order amounts were less than 10%. And I'm thinking that these added amounts did not increase that very much, but I have not put that together. All right. So to answer that, um, the change orders were just off the top of my head around 38,000 over the budgeted amount for the project, but we were able to find those funds internally. Um, and yes, this will close out the project because we have no money. <laughs> and when you say you found the funds internally, were those, that's just park and rec? Yeah, we had some in gifts and donations. Actually, I think we took it all out of gifts and donations. Um, and we would have come in under the budgeted amount, but we decided to extend that sidewalk from the exhibit mm -hmm. going right. east, which made sense because they were there. <laughs> um, so had we not done that project and found the extra money, we really mm -hmm. had to get that done just to make that one nice yeah. smooth transition. Right. Yeah. Um, so that's what put us over. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> Overall, considering the environment we're in with 
inflation and delays, it's uh, still remarkable yes. that we came in that close. So kudos to everyone who is managing the spend and the project. Any other questions or comments? I have a motion to approve change order number eight. I would move that we uh, accept change order number eight. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, we've got the Wolves Soccer Club MOU amendment number one. Thank you, Mr. Latchford. Okay. The Wolves Soccer Club has requested use of the parking booth at Patriot Park to store equipment and supplies. They have agreed to re-roof the building, patch a hole in the building from an old air conditioning unit and cover damaged siding with a sign advertising the Wolves Soccer Club to help increase participation. The Park Department has no need for this building and we were preparing to demolish it. Mr. Volz thinks this is a good solution for all, enhancing our partnership with the Wolves Soccer Club while promoting recreational opportunities in our community. And I recommend that the board approves the use of this abandoned building for Wolf Soccer. Thank you, Ed. Uh, questions or comments? I'll be the uh, Mr. Volz is here to answer some of the questions that I'm not sure of. I could only guess on the square footage, but here's Mr. Volz, maintenance director. Patrick Bowles, Park Department. Welcome. Um, off my head, I'd say it's eight by 10. It's just an old ticket booth we had down at Washington Park for years. And uh, we moved that down to Patriot. So it's been more of a vandalism target there for us. That's why part of why we were going to get rid of it. We no longer use it. When you say vandalism target, is that then... Could that be a problem then for the soccer club? Like well, they only because it wasn't getting used. It, nobody was going in and out. Nobody was monitoring the building. Oh. So nobody was around it. Yeah. And I'm totally in favor of this. I was just wondering the, the, so the Wolves soccer club, is that like the kids or is that? That is kids. Okay. I was thinking of the high school and I know they have their field. So for the kids, got it. Mm -hmm. Cool. Any other questions or comments? Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Pat. Now, this amendment in front of us has a signature for the park board, but nothing for the Michigan City Soccer Club. I assume that they don't need to acknowledge or recognize the amendment. Probably not. Okay. Now, uh, it's funny, it was in writing as well. That should suffice. Very good, thank you. Any questions from the public? All right, seeing none, what's the pleasure of the board? I would move that we should allow the Wolf Soccer Club to uh, make the repairs as listed uh, and uh, allow them to store their equipment and supplies in said building. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right, now we have a community concert event request. You know, it's just a little history on this. Um, back in the late 1990s, a group of High schoolers came to the mayor and requested that they would be allowed to have a free concert down in Washington Park when school got out to celebrate summer. Um, so we've allowed it for many, many years. Some years we didn't have it. There were gaps um, in the time. But since then, a lot of these band members have grown up. They have mm -hmm. kids of their own. Um, and they've continued this concert sporadically over the last decade. But it's turned into more of a family event before it was a teen event. Um, I'm in favor of this very much. The amphitheater is underutilized and it's another free concert um, for families to come out to and have something to do on the afternoon. So I would recommend the board approve the use of the amphitheater and waiving the fees. Um, they don't charge anyone to get in. They don't sell anything. It's just bring a picnic lunch, and check out the bands and enjoy the day. Thank you, Shannon. You want questions or comments? I think it sounds really cool. I think in here, though, they were also requesting that we we put out a couple extra uh, porta potties. Was that right? Did I read that in here? Yes, but I already told him that's not in our budget. So yeah. if they want to put extras out, they can. But uh, we do have porta potties in yeah. at the amphitheater, mm -hmm. also 
in Fetters Alley. And then all of our restroom buildings will be open at that time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is there any indication where these 20 bands may, are, are they local? Are they high school? The, just the no, they're all, these are like the kids that used to be in our local uh, high school band. So they like to play all over now. They're probably, most of them are in their mid thirties to mid forties. Yeah. Was, like I said, this started back in, I think it was 1998. Mm -hmm. It was a teenage thing. And I know quite of a few of these musicians mm -hmm. are just musicians for life. And I think it's cool. You know, yeah. Free concert. That's awesome. Anything free in the summer is great. Yeah. Any other questions or comments? Questions from the public? Seeing under a motion to approve the community concert event request. But this is the free waiver that included in this. Yeah, maybe we should specify that we're approving their request at uh, no cost, but I'm not including the request for extra port effects. And also, I just thought of something. Is there anything with security that they need to have, even though they're not paying for it? Because it's over. I'm sure was it on there. Yeah. Third line, third line. Oh, OK. Cool. <clears throat> I assume there's no alcoholic beverage, even if they bring their own. They can bring their own. No. They can. Okay. Alcohol is allowed in Washington Park Good. within 50 feet of any paved surface, as long as it's not in a glass container. I'd like to make a quick comment. Uh, in the past, just recently, we had a concert in uh, Washington Park at the amphitheater, and the uh, noise, um, the noise meter might have exceeded the decibels allowed mm. in Washington Park, and I don't want to be a stickler, but there was some problems with the zebra. It might have done some damage because the zebra uh, got a little anxious from the sound. Mm. I would like to know if the board would approve this uh, this event. However, we would be uh, enforcing the decibel limit because of the zoo animals. Yeah. Do we have them a uh, means to yeah. enforce that, to measure it? We have a means to measure it. Uh, to enforce that, I suppose it would be a phone call to the police. I would hate to have to do that, but uh, uh, Jamie has been asked to purchase a decibel meter the last few weeks. And like I said, the only reason I'm bringing this up is because the last concert was a problem. I doubt that this this group will be as loud. That was just <clears throat> unbelievably loud. Which concert was that? That was three weeks ago. Uh, the name of that was, uh, I think, one of the breweries. Oh, the Burnham Brewery. It was one. Burnham Brewery. It wasn't during the concert. It was during sound check. Oh, so a phone call was made to them that this is loud. It's disturbing the animals. They immediately adjusted everything, mm. and it was oh, cool. <clears throat> is there anything else on the agenda for eight twenty six? No, nothing. I mean, there aren't any senior center functions that are scheduled. Mm -hmm. I mean, there could be a function at the senior center, but well, the reason you... I ask is because the last time. Uh, there was a function there, and the there were barricades put up to keep cars from going in the parking lot, and they just drove around the barricades. I'll check, make sure. I'll notify our parking staff as well. If there's dual events going on, we do have parking staff down there to monitor people coming in and out. We also got new signs, just to inform you, last year, um, Pat had some custom signs made that say private event that go over the barricades. Oh, cool. Because sometimes people see a barricade and they just move it because they're like, well, the parking lot's not full. Right. Mm. So that should help too. Mm. That's a good idea. Any other questions or comments? Questions from the public? Seeing none, what's a pleasure of the board? Uh, move that we allow this community concert event request uh, minus the quarter pots. I'll second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries. 
All right, now we have the AE, is the ZAA accreditation application. Good evening and welcome. And Jamie has Washburn Zoo. Um, I hope you didn't get overwhelmed with my packet. Um, but I'm asking for uh, permission to reapply for accreditation with the ZA, which will keep us, um, or we always strive to, to increase our partnerships to maintain professionalism and to increase our staff training. Uh, the ZA does all that for us. Um, so the zoo very much supports the ideal going for accreditation, even with all the extra paperwork and stuff you have to do for it. Um, answer any questions you might have. Thank you. That was quite uh, the document. Yes. The end. Is yes, all that necessary for the application? Yes, all of them are check boxes at the end, so all that paperwork is required for them to review before they come. Um, that way they don't waste time and they're two or three days here because um, they will evaluate everything from our caging to our staff training to diet to um, paperwork. So uh, to keep it as streamlined as possible, they would like all that before the in investigators get to the, to the site. I can't imagine they would have any question. Have <laughs> not. 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 Probably not. That was just a draft, right? So, uh, that was the final. That was the final, yep. Unless they request more information, which they could do if there wasn't enough photos or they wanted different views. And you said they do staff training? They train. They offer training. The uh, conference we're going to, um, I'm saying to Keepers 2 in the fall, is um, put on by that group. Yeah. Okay. But in between, there's like Zoom meetings like every Wednesday that we, it's free as, as long as you're part of the group. So we take advantage of as much of information that we can. Yeah. So are the training sessions free or do we pay for that too? The Zoom ones are free. If you go to extra training class, yeah. there is cost involved with that. Yeah. So, but the Zoom meetings are all free. And in between, there's been a lot of updates and uh, from uh, laws and um, requirements. Yeah. Um, just keep you updated of what's going on across the country. Yeah. And then do you guys get any grants? This says access to grants. Have we ever gotten grants? Oh, uh, we got a grant in 2000, uh, 2020 for a food grant from them that helped oh. us um, buy food because of the um, decreased attendance. Yeah. While we're closed. Oh, that's for COVID. Yeah. So, yes. Um, how much was that? Do you know? That was about 15,000. Oh, and we good. are actually, um, 1,500, sorry, 1,500. Oh. And then we are, are putting the big cat project um, up for an award um, this year because um, they give out awards for a new exhibit design education program mm -hmm. and different stuff. So it gives you some recognition yeah. just with our peers too. Mm -hmm. So oh, take good. advantage of that. Yeah. Do you feel this annual fee of $2,500 is worth being a part of this organization? Like, are you getting out of it, you know, that cost, do you think? Uh, I believe so, because we also have partnerships of, of placing, receiving animals, mm -hmm. um, and it right. saves all the, I guess, the, the background checks we have to do to get animals moved and brought in. Mm -hmm. um, between that and so the, the education factor of it, yeah. and um, just the the lobbyist point of it being on mm -hmm. having somebody back us up on laws that might be coming through. Yeah. It, it, it very much so. Yeah. It helps us out. Okay. And the training, the zoom ones, you said your staff does do those, the zoom yeah. ones, the yeah. free ones. Yes, we do. Yeah. Everything yeah. from POS systems, from purchasing our cash registers yeah. to alligator enrichment was the one that was last week uh -huh. to the new avian USD regulations that are coming down. Okay. So, but it, it gives us a voice in those laws that might be coming mm -hmm. down that puts you from being a roadside zoo to at least the minor leagues mm -hmm. that you can't afford to do the yeah. major league AZA. Right. So okay, cool. Thank you. Any other questions? <clears throat> How long have we been a member of this association? Uh, we had it uh, once before like in 20, uh, 2004. It lapsed um, just because of characters opinions um and we recredited in 2015 and then this year our third year of that cycle thank you there's a, there are other zoo associations that are out there uh, there's the um, aza which requires more information um as far as having a full-time event on staff which we don't have they also require more of your financial information which is kind of hard for us to meet the requirements 
because it's based on your attendance, your actual budget. And um, we believe most of that money should go back to the animals and the facility rather than just paying these and uh, just be part of a group. Yeah, good. So, that's good. Thank you. Is, and is it possible, can we, are there other grants that are out there that, that can be applied for? Oh, uh, there are. It's been a kind of a slow cycle with COVID and stuff getting back up there, but there are more grants. Uh, we've gotten discounts on food from um, warehouses because of it. So not all just grants that come through, it's just opportunities mm -hmm. that come up that we've taken oh, advantage good. of. Cool. So. Good. Awesome. Thank you. Any questions from the public? See none. What's the pleasure of the board? I move that uh, we allow the ZAA accreditation application uh, it, with all the information that Jamie has provided. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank nice, you. Nice job and good luck. Thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. That takes us to revision of the uh, program license agreement. Yes. Um, at your last meeting, you approved a. Right yoga program on the beach and Mrs. Sperling made the comment, do you do reference or background checks on individuals mm -hmm. proposing programming on our property, which we don't. So we'd like to revise the agreement to ask for three references and also um, have them consent to a background check. Mm -hmm. and I did have a staff member do a little research on the woman that's presenting the yoga. She is a teacher in the, uh, Illinois school system. She also worked for a professional yoga studio. Mm -hmm. Good. But I'm glad you brought that up, Mrs. Sperling, because, you know, then it occurred to us, like, we don't even know who these people are. And yeah. Especially if they're doing programming where children are allowed. Yep. Um, so I think it's very important. Awesome. Thank you for doing this. I appreciate yes. that. I actually brought that with to ask you about it. So thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> And then we will, obviously, with the references, and then that'll be part of our process. We will call those, right? And right. talk to them. Yes. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Questions from the public? Seeing none, what's the pleasure of the board? Well, I move that we approve this new license agreement and requirement. Second. All in Thank favor you. say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Awesome. All right, now we have Thanks, the greenhouse yeah. lease bid notice. <clears throat> yeah, so after your last meeting, you had um, approved the bid notice, but on Further discussions um, with Attorney Nuremberg, it was determined that it wasn't in a proper format and it should actually have included more information, including um, the value of the premises. So this is a little bit different format and it includes a lot more information that the bidder would need to know. So I would just ask that you approve this version and then I will get it out to bid. And that value was determined by the appraisals that we had um, completed? That's correct. That's the average of the two appraisals. Thank you. Questions or comments? So really the only change is uh, number one on page one. That we listed the insurance requirements, the EEO documents, those were the big changes. Thank you. There are no questions or comments from the board. Any comments from the public? See none, we have a motion to approve the greenhouse lease bid notice. I would uh, move that we allow the greenhouse lease bid notice to uh, go out. I'll second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right, next we have resolution number 1007. That's 1007, whereas the superintendent of the Park and Rec Parks and Recreation has reported that certain transfer of funds are necessary within the budget of Michigan City Parks and Recreation because of unanticipated expenses from various accounts, which accounts do not have sufficient funds available for disbursement for said expenses, and whereas there are funds available for said purposes in various other accounts, which are not expected to be paid from said accounts during the remainder of the budget year, and whereas the Michigan City Parks and Recreation Board has determined that said expenses are necessary and that a transfer should be made in order to meet said expenses. Now, therefore, be resolved that the following transfer be made from the following named accounts to the following named accounts for the purposes stated therein. Decreased fund, 2204-505 maintenance fund, seasonal wages, 35000 Increased fund, 2204-505 maintenance fund, diesel, 
5,000, building materials, 6,000, small tools and equipment, 7,000, other supplies, Christmas, 2,000, contractual, 15,000. Unless there are questions or concerns, motion to approve resolution number 1007. I would move we accept resolution 1007. Second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, we have resolution number 1008 on the agenda, and that is um, a request for the funds to uh, pay police officers that we discussed at our last meeting. However, we have not made any progress on meeting with the police department because of um, the chief has been out with, he hasn't been available. So before we go down this path, I, personally, I think it's imperative that we meet with him to see if it's one of this is possible and to see if there are any other unattended consequences it might cause um, where he stands with it, rather than us moving forward without that meeting. I just think that's a prudent approach. But that's just my opinion. Mm -hmm. So it's up to, um, we can, the resolution is basically just uh, moving money out of an appropriated balance into contractual services to fund that process. Tabling it will um, delay this. I think it has to be heard how many times at city council? Just once? Three times? Once? It's a resolution. Okay. I think it comes as a resolution just once. All right. Great. Okay. I disagree. I think it's going to take three readings. The ordinance for the property. It's going to have to be an ordinance. Now you can do second and third reading in one meeting. Right. But I don't, the council can't do it by resolution because you're actually moving yeah, it. Yeah, it's going to be an appropriation fund. So it will be, a, or just take three readings. But like you said, we can't do two and three at, at one time. Right. Just to be clear, so resolution, one meeting of the ordinance is crafted and the ordinance can be done. Basically two, two meetings. Yeah, okay. yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So we're at least a month out before we have an off-duty off officer there. That's right whatever we can to speed it up because it's already May for a month out we're I don't know what this does uh, we this money and that it's not spent is that a I believe what happens then is it goes back to the city's general fund at the end of the year if it's not spent Correct. Yeah. This board right. would have to ask them to inappropriate the funds. Ask the council. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, more than likely, we wouldn't do that, right? I mean, it's or you can just wait. just yeah, just, just let it go back to the city, and if we need money, hopefully they'll. Yeah, I, I guess I was. That was one concern, but not as much as just moving this along without any sort of communication with uh, the chief. Yeah, and unless. If I misspoken, if you have exactly right. feedback, and maybe I'm just being too conscious of, you know, not having buy-in from the police department before we do this, but that's why I'm open for any it's feedback, it's input. Any indication when the chief may return? I had no indication when he may return, but I do have a little feedback of the past year and a half when I proposed having some type of a security division uh, come into play and it was uh, a comment by the previous chief that he would surely like to sit down and talk about it before we made any plans so i would think that you're exactly right in this case well and i i really agree with both of you i think tim what you're saying like get this going because memorial day weekend's coming up and yeah i remember last year it started out bad right didn't last year start, wasn't there problems right away in the park and that just that's just not good and so i mean i do agree with what you're saying phil but maybe if we go ahead and and approve it tonight so it can get the ball rolling and then like you said if we don't use it we don't use it but then also if they we get it approved and and council approves it then the money's there and that would even be a stronger um you know uh plea to the police department to help make this happen for our city Brian, can the city council hear 
if it's if it's a unanimous vote, can they hear uh, an ordinance on all three here? I'm, I'm not technically saying this, but here are three public meetings. And there is uh, a special. Like and we've done something from the planning commission that had an official, you know, formal public hearing, and then we were able to do all three. That's only the one time that I know we've done all three because there was an, a, a formal public hearing that was done at the planning commission, and so we were able to do that. Um, but this one, I, I think there have to be a formal public hearing on second reading, if I'm not mistaken. So then we we would it would still take us two meetings. And I was just trying to calculate the dates in my head. So we had a meeting last night and, and trying to figure when this could be done. Um, but I do like the idea of going ahead and moving forward with what you have now, do approval tonight so we can get this going as fast as possible. And then on the, on the backside of that, you know, work with the chief because, um, you know, I don't know what he has in plans, you know, in terms of does he want more people for overtime working, you know, for the police department or will he, you know, go this route? Uh, being able to pay here. So like I said, just have a conversation with them to clear it all up. But I would get started tonight with the approval of this and move forward so we can get the, those dollars taken care of. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? All right, so what I'll do is uh, resolution number 108. I'll skip the preamble just so we're clear on what's happening. Uh, mm -hmm. And basically the guts of this thing is to decrease park fund 2204 Unappropriated balance seventy thousand and increased park fund twenty two zero four five zero five four three nine triple zero contractual services seventy thousand, which would make funds available to pay the policemen to patrol Washington Park. So moved. Second. Mm -hmm. One in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. I'm, I'm sorry. I should ask this question probably before you took the vote. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon, uh, do we have any other positions that we're looking for police to, to fill around the park system? Are there any other? Uh, yes, we have a lot of positions. Um, we require security at all of our wedding receptions, all of our mm -hmm. major events throughout the city, the parade, the music fest at the amphitheater, um, Sunset Grill. We do Thursday through Sunday night security there, right. Memorial Day to Labor Day. And we've had difficulty in the past couple of years getting police officers for all of that, um, just because their numbers are so low, right? right. Um, in fact, we like have to go out to the Port County Sheriff or we're using the Trail Creeks Town Marshal for events. Um, so that's an issue that really needs to be discussed and considered. Is this going to pull away where now you have no police for our parade or Fourth of July fireworks or weddings. Um, I think the biggest issue with security we're dealing with in Michigan City is the number of bodies that we have to work with. Right. You know, they're just understaffed right now by once they close to 20 officers. So that would be an unintended consequence of a well-meaning uh, gesture resolution here. I think it's imperative to expedite a meeting with the police department as soon as possible, whether it's a chief, he's yeah. someone's got to be running it while he's gone. I would get in there and get something going because before we go to the council and get this thing in motion, if if it's deemed it's just a, a body, we don't have enough um, police available, that's a whole other issue than funding it. So the council's next meeting that this could be on would be June 6th. June 6th, Documents are due on May 30th by noon to make that agenda. Yes, so we've got some time. So we've got a little bit of time and we can always, you know, pull it off the agenda. But at this point, I need to send your resolution to the mayor and the controller, get their blessing. They'll send it to the city attorney to draft a resolution and an ordinance. Okay. And then it would be the 6th and the 20th would be the two meetings, mm -hmm. but it would hit the council. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Okay. You, um, and I'd love to, you know, just to have the Michigan City Police Department get the extra money, but do they work in, is it the, the chief in the Michigan City and the sheriff of the Port County, do they work together? Is there perhaps something they could work out where between the two departments? They're all staffed. 
Um, You're all the entire state of Indiana law enforcement is understaffed right now from the state police down to every city, town, municipality. Um, we even reached out to DNR, believe it or not, a couple of years ago to see, can their officers work weddings? And, you know, because people are getting desperate. It's a week before their wedding and the contract says no security, no wedding. Mm -hmm. um, we've looked into private security agencies that do have off-duty police officers working for them. So that worked out a couple of times last year because they would actually work police with the rest of ours. Um, We've talked to the Coast Guard. I mean, we have really wrecked our brains trying to figure out how to fill our spots for events and rentals. Um, and that's what we found out. There's just not enough officers anywhere in any jurisdiction. Yeah. Um, they're all working a lot of overtime. So that hypothetical case where someone who's made arrangements and has an agreement with us and they can't find security, what happens? Under the contract terms, they can't have more than 100 guests and they could not serve alcohol. Okay. Hold the bar. Okay, thank you. All right, uh, next we have the Michigan City High School golf outing request. Thank you, Mr. Lester. Oh, wait, are we going to, did we vote on this? Did yeah, we? Oh, we did, right? Okay. <laughs> I was with you on that, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> the annual Michigan City High School Athletic Department golf outing is being planned for next month on a date to be determined. The athletic department, as in past years, is asking the park board for a reduced rate for a round of golf and a cart package. Athletic Director Mr. Craig Shaman states that they make this request in the spirit of cooperation between our two organizations and as this outing is a fundraiser for their department. The athletic department is asking for a rate of $20 for a round of golf with a cart for their participants on the day of their outing. I have checked with our golf manager, Marty Neiman, and he is in favor of this request and was also glad to hear that the boys and girls of our youth baseball organization are invited to attend a high school varsity baseball game free of charge for each of them plus one parent or guardian. I also recommend this price reduction for the Michigan City High School Athletic Department. Thank you, Mr. Shin. Questions or comments? What what day of the week would this be? I know it says they don't have a date yet, but I mean, being that they don't have a date and we're approving this. Hopefully it will be on a date where there is no outing and that could possibly be a weekday. Yeah. So I'm wondering if we should make the motion contingent on that. Yeah. What do you go ahead? What do you Mr. Neiman is here as the golf manager. If you'd like to answer some questions, please step to the microphone. Thank you. Yeah. You want to pick a Saturday. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Marty Neiman, golf course manager. We do have a date now, and it is not on the date on a Saturday, which is the one that we have most of our outings on where we make most of our money. I believe it was on a Friday, um, which we get very few of. I believe uh, normally it's a $29 rate um, for just any organization on a Friday. So I feel $20 is not unreasonable for somebody that we, you know, make deals with between the golf course and the school. So, um, so we do have final day. I don't have that date with me, but, but we have, Craig and I have come up with an agreement, so. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? Questions from the public? Thank you. This is their, Thank they were out there last year, right? I'm they, sorry? They were out there last year for this. Yes. Season. It's the pleasure of the board. I would move that, uh, excuse me, we allow the Michigan City High School Athletic Department their golf outing uh, on the day agreed upon uh, already with the you have a date, you just don't remember what it is. Yeah, I didn't actually know this was coming up okay. tonight, but I do have it in my book now. We read on this a few days ago, so. Uh, with the date agreed upon. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank, Thank you. you. Just one comment. Um, this discount that we gave is really in recognition of the longstanding partnership that we have with the Michigan Tudor Schools. And it's not typically, it's not available to other groups. 
So what makes Michigan Superior Schools uh, special is that we have an agreement that we use their facilities free of charge, except for some custodial fees uh, whenever we need them. They have right of first refusal if they have an event, but other than that, we have access to all their facilities. So, uh, and there are many other um, partnerships we have with them with uh, Hanson Park. They provide uh, all sorts of uh, labor for some environmental remediation of the pond. And it goes on and on. So I just don't want to let uh, people think that I'm handing out uh, golf outing discounts to anyone that asks, because that's certainly not the case. Hmm. Sounds and good. It really helps the youth. Uh, a few years ago, there was a change, and now um, it's no more carte blanche to go in and say, uh, Mr. AD, I need new uniforms. Each team has a fundraiser. and I mean, I know when I was coach, it was Wednesday, hey, Dave, I need new uniforms, I, another dozen baseballs or whatever it is. That That's not possible anymore. You can't take it out of the school funds. So this will help out. All righty. Next, we have approval of a special purchase for golf course pesticide treatment contract. Thank you, Mr. Latcher. You're welcome. <clears throat> As I mentioned in a Previous meeting, the Michigan City Municipal Golf Course Green Superintendent announced his retirement several weeks prior to the crucial time frame for important chemical applications. Immediately after said retirement, advertisement began to fill the position. The response was sparse and applicants and the resumes indicated no required license and zero experience. Our green superintendent has agreed to spray the required chemicals on a contractual basis to prevent catastrophic loss and damage to the city's 36 greens and fairways, thus enabling the Parks Department to maintain the functioning use of the golf courses and avert serious impairment. Funding to compensate the contractor has been approved by the city controller to be drawn from the golf contractual account. And I'm asking the board to approve this special purchase. Thank you, Mr. Shin. Questions or comments? Is there a number of times that they'll spray? Spray yeah. by need or? There is in your packet a time frame estimated to the best of our ability for okay. this time frame of spraying. It's on the professional agreement, which is next on the agenda. Correct. KH7. I have a one question in regard to the payment of this. And you mentioned the controller giving authority out of our golf contractual. Um, is she funding that into our contractual? Or is that already budgeted in there? There is already money in that line item. Okay. So we really don't need her authority to do this. I would imagine. That could be. I'm just, I, just I just want to make sure I'm understanding the flow of funds. I'm not trying to be a jerk or anything. No, I know you're not. Okay. Come on. And, and I think Shannon may be able to answer that a little bit better, but I'm pretty sure that I answered it correctly that, that those funds were in that line item. Okay, thank you. So this contract was not budgeted in that line item. The contractual services is budgeted every year for our normal contract usage. So we are going to have to move money from, my guess is the full-time salaries line item mm -hmm. into contractual um, to fund this. So there should be additional funding in there because we have a vacant labor position. I don't know how soon we're going to be able to rehire this um, green superintendent position. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to juggle with our uh, personal services line items to find the money. If we just take it all out of contractual without a transfer, we'll run out mid-year because this is a sizable contract. But we can accomplish all that through a resolution like we just did. The resolution will be number internal park resolution number 1009 or 10 or whatever it may be at that point. The transfer? Mm -hmm. No, because it's going from a 01 personal services account to a 03 services account. I believe that requires a council resolution. Is that correct? I'll have to double check because we normally don't ever move from an 01 or 02 account to an 03, but it may require an additional resolution. Okay, so check with you, funds are available within the golf umbrella. Correct. We just may need council approval 
to juggle the money around to take it from one account to pay the other account. Sure. Okay. And Thank are you. we are we doing this until we hire a full time person, or is this because it just says it commences on May twenty second, but there's no end date. There's not. An, I, I see. There's an there's a budget. A, right. A, it's capped, but is that what the purpose is? Is to he's doing this while we're looking for someone, or correct? Or is he going to do it all summer? Or They'll okay. do it for this season, and there is an end date on the last page of the, oh, okay. of the next agenda item. Oh, okay. I mean, ideally, we would get this position hired. Like, right. So immediately. <laughs> if we get the position hired, he'll step back. The contract will be void then once we hire someone, or does he still get to do it the whole summer and then and we're paying? He will be doing it the whole summer. But with the, I'm proposing that he continues the pesticide application with his license mm -hmm. for this season mm -hmm. okay. with a not-to-exceed amount. Okay, and we can do, and we can do both. We can pay him and pay a, a no. greens. Okay, no, so he'll be the only one making this application, right? But I'm saying we're going to have him, and we're still going to pay, have a salary paid out to, hopefully, I mean, a full time um, golf uh, manager. What what is this position again? Green, that is green, green superintendent. Sorry, we cannot overlap a contractual position with an employee. He will be either in or out. Okay. Oh, so then right now, then we're not going to pursue that position for this summer. I can pursue looking, mm -hmm. but there would be no way I would be able to start somebody until this contract expires. Got it. Okay. And the, his end date is? It will be shown on the last page of his contract's exhibits. Which is? Next agenda item. It was in the fall at some point. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Was... So we pretty much have him for the summer. You, I told you that. Yeah, eight hours a week at Thanksgiving. Did you ask a question? I'm sorry. Uh, I was saying that we pretty much have him for the summer. So oh, yeah. he's is he doing everything that he did before? Correct, exactly. Okay. And this like rate of pay that he's getting, is this comparable to what he was getting paid before? Correct. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So we're not paying a, a lot additional money because he's contractual now instead of a an employee. Right. right. It's even his his salary per year was fifty eight thousand one forty. Mm -hmm. And with this contract, he'll be making not to exceed twenty thousand six hundred. Mm -hmm. Oh, OK. OK. Wow. And for for purposes of clarity, we're, we've kind of blended two line items together in agenda, which is fine. One is this special. Special purchase policy that we're implementing. For the next item on the agenda, which is his contract. Oh, okay. but that's okay. We okay. talked about them together, and that's there's no issue. I just want to make for mm -hmm. clarity's sake. Okay, thank you. Sure. Uh, and I, I can't imagine you do exactly the same thing for thirty thousand dollars uh, less. So well, I, I understand he's just right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but then yeah. It, that's not for the rest of the winter when they do all the maintenance, right, on equipment and things like that. That. We so won't have that filled. Green superintendent position spring was only one duty. So this is the manager of the whole maintenance department. So now we have no manager. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the issue. So yeah. the contract takes the spring over. Yeah. But there's a lot more to right. that full-time job than just spring. So mm -hmm. it's imperative that we get someone in here soon and trained. Um and then we have a second assistant who's considering retiring very quickly. Mm -hmm. That leaves us with a staff of one full time. But that's my question. Then, if we're paying him, so so we're not pursuing. We're not going to try and hire someone, or we are going to try and hire. I was under the impression that we were going to try and hire someone. Okay. The issue is if we don't get someone like within the next week or two. Right. This this totally agree. Done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree with that. Kind of in a right awkward mm -hmm. situation. Mm -hmm. We're really gonna have to watch our dollars close. Yeah, but I would assume this contract. I didn't write this contract. Um, I would assume that if we hired someone who was capable of the spring, that we would terminate the contract. Is that correct? So we're not paying a green superintendent and a contractor. That's what I'm wondering. That could be a decision that we could make if it turns out that we have an applicant oh, that it's is It's got to be contractual. It's, it's, we have to have that ability within the contract. That's correct. Is there a, a termination clause? I don't know. Thoughts in 30 days? Um, I 
Yes, there is. Owner may terminate this agreement for any reason or without cause upon delivering written notice to spray technician. Hmm. Very good. So that covers us. Okay. Thank you, Shannon. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. So before we talk about this contract anymore, let's get let's get the special <laughs> purchase um, situation. Make sure that the board approves. And Laura, you look through this special purchase and you feel this, um, this is complies one. with it. Right this time. Mr. Lasher, yes, this is the one that suits us best. Thank you. So this is the one that allows us to not go out for bid to hire someone to do this brain. Mm -hmm. So questions or comments about using the special purchase for the contract that we're about to discuss? Mm -hmm. Questions from the public? If not, pleasure of the board. Uh, I'll make a motion that we uh, accept the special purchase golf car golf course ground uh pesticide treatment con con contract sorry all in favor say aye. aye aye opposed motion carries all right next up is the actual contract that we <laughs> um just have discussed in regard to hiring their uh greens previous green superintendent to apply specifics apply <laughs> pesticides because uh, he's licensed uh, throughout the summer as needed on a scheduled basis and there's a uh, there's an exhibit in the back of the contract which kind of specifies that his expectations in terms of time commitment to do that and it's been mentioned that it runs through Thanksgiving but if we hire someone we do have the option to um, terminate within 30 days Written notice. Well, I see John signed this already, so he must uh, agree with everything that's in here. Any other questions or comments on the agreement for the uh, professional services agreement with John Marshall? Motion. Sure. Now yeah, we entertain a motion. Uh, I would move that uh, we accept this professional service agreement as printed with Mr. Marshall and the Park and Recreation Department. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right. There's some other gibberish on this agenda, but I can't read it. So we'll, we'll move right on to the report of officers. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Shin. Thank you, Mr. Latchford. You're welcome. Uh, this evening, I would like to report that the youth baseball starts, T-ball will start on the 24th. Uh, the AU, 10U, and 13U will start several days later. Uh, adult softball starts, Sunday co-ed starts the 21st. Uh, sad to hear that there were three teams in adult softball that was not co-ed, the men's league, had three teams. Uh, one team dropped out, finding out that there was too much competition, and the other teams uh, followed suit and dropped out as well. So our director and I were very disappointed. Uh, in that case, in the fall, our uh, baseball and softball director, Mr. Mr. Krachinski, is going to attempt to start a kickball league and seems to think that might raise some interest. That sounds fun. <clears throat> Uh, I would like to report uh, about the golf uh, with our new manager. We had a fairly slow April because of the, uh, our manager reports because of the weather, obviously, and with the weather picking up, uh, being a little bit more pleasant, May is doing much better. Uh, our golf manager, as you know, is here tonight. If you have any questions on how things are going out there, as I uh, visit the golf course, I see uh, things are going very well. Uh, the pro shop uh, looks fantastic and items are being sold uh, consistently as well as in years past. Uh, the courses are actually looking beautiful as well. Our uh, retired green superintendent has stayed on and worked during his uh, final days, which were vacation days, and came in and made applications during that time. So the field, uh, the golf course is being taken care of and everything's working smooth out there. 
And this concludes my report. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Shin. Questions or comments? Uh, can you provide an update on North Point Pavilion on the glass and Patriot Park and the fencing, please? I sure will. North Point Pavilion uh, glass railing has been completed. As far as I know, a week ago, they had a few clips to install, but the weather prohibited them. Uh, I take it that they I have finished uh, the glass railing. And as I inspected, the glass railing looked very good, very secure. And uh, the fencing at Patriot Park is probably three quarters of the way complete. Uh, the field is looking great. The workmanship is great. The uh, foundations have been monitored to be poured at below frost line. Uh, the teams and BP and NSA have uh, been very accommodating with shifting teams around to make sure that the work gets done. Uh, all we're waiting on is good weather up till now. It was poor at some times, but uh, everything's going well at Patriot Park Fencing. Thank you. Have we lost any fields for uh, play? Are any games been canceled because of the fencing issue? I don't think any games were canceled. I think there was some shifting around, which worked out very well, but no games were canceled. Good news. Thank you. And you probably want to know about some vandalism report. <laughs> no. Uh, no report. Sad to say, I know, that uh, there were a row of trees planted uh, several years ago on Lakeshore Drive that were uh, bent over by some pedestrian walking by, so vandalism occurred in that respect. Uh, there were seedlings, I want to say maybe uh, very young trees, they looked like in the picture, and they were snapped off maybe uh, half a dozen. I and planted those trees oh in May of 2020, so I'm oh. really offended. I, bet. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, physically, yeah. dug the holes and planted these trees. Wow. Yes, we were all very disappointed to hear that. Uh, there was some fencing that was damaged at, uh, was it Peanut Bridge? I have the incident report right here, or the uh, vandalism report. Was it Hanson Park? It was Hanson Park, uh, excuse me. Hanson Park, there was some fencing that was damaged, and that uh, is going to be repaired by the maintenance department. And they stole, oh, it was Winding Creek? Well, Hanson. Oh, yes, you're correct. I'm sorry. Winding Creek. And they also stole a picnic table, correct? So it's Winding Creek Cove, I'm sorry. And they stole a picnic table as well. Oh, my gosh. Jeez. All right. I have a question. What, one question. How is it going with the uh, Sunset Grill with their new little area? Is it, did the excise come out? Is that all good? Is that moving forward? I have not gotten any report from okay. Sunset Grill because I did ask them to let me know when excise comes out i would like to be a part of that meeting yeah i think they have brought in some planters that were they were going to use for perimeter mm -hmm. so yeah. the planters are there okay yeah i'm just saying that we should probably just definitely get that checked out before because i know they want to be set up for memorial day weekend so they they i think they do need to report on that before they can operate function down there yeah so any other questions or comments all right, we will move on to the liaison reports. Uh, Planning Commission, there has not been a meeting since our last meeting, but we have one next week. Port Authority, Mr. Fries. Uh There was a meeting on the 8th that attended, but uh, nothing for us. All right, thank you. And the Zoological Society, Mr. Glidden. I was unable to attend their last meeting. They are getting ready for their approval of the Zoo. Another meeting next Tuesday. Good, thank you. And attorney's report tonight. Nothing to report tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Any director's reports? No, sir. All right. Takes us to department finances. To you, Mr. Glidden. Mr. Kessie, Bike Park Claims Docket for May 17th, 2023. Municipal, $184,201.57. Golf petty cash, $971.92. Total claims, $185,173.40. Okay, the claims docket for May 17th. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. A roll number nine, 2023, 416-23, 429-23, pay date 5-5-23, 
but a payroll of $79,990.72. Pay this payroll. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right. Gifts and donations. Kroger. Zoo donation give back program $82.53. Minor transfers, decrease account, operating supplies household, 1000 increase account, operating supplies, small tools, 1000 Mr. Glenn, I'm going to hold off a minute. Do we need a motion for the reports and give some donation? Correct. You read it. We just need a motion to accept. I would move that we accept Kroger's generous donation. Mm -hmm. A second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion here. Mm -hmm. Minor transfers, operating house supplies, household 1,000, and uh, increase the operating supply small tools 1,000. I would move that we make these minor transfers. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Credit card charges. In your pool. Products, Zoo Tiger Pump Pool, $320.95. Indiana.gov Zoo Train Operating Permit, 2023, $157.51. Uh, AAZ Conference, Zookeeper Conference, $632.94. Watertronics Golf Course Transducer for Irrigation, $261.26. Amazon.com uh, Recreation NR8. I'm assuming it's eight new pictures here, two sets, 314.04. Webstorestore.com, web Zoom concessions, items for concessions, 1,506.29. Amazon.com, administration currency counter, cleaning clause, 45.60. And I would think that we pay these credit card charges. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, any comments from the public tonight? Seeing none, any comments from the board? I'd just like to thank uh, all the employees for their hard work, maintenance, the uh, grounds really look nice, uh, keeping up with the grass and weeds. And look forward to the golf course being taken care of now. Thank you, Phil. Hmm. Any other comments? I think everybody, as they drive through Washington Park, will enjoy the flowers that were planted by the gardeners in the maintenance department. They did a very good job, and you'll enjoy that. <laughs> awesome. Mr. Shin, look forward to seeing those. If there are no other comments. Our next meeting is Wednesday, June 7th at 5 o'clock, right here. A motion to adjourn. So moved. We got an extra week off. <laughs>